Hi Vinyl Community, um, so as you can tell by the title this is a Record Store Day update, it's Friday of the week of Record Store Day, so it's, uh, tomorrow will be a week, um, but I've just been a busy week, so I haven't had time to sit down and actually go through my purchases. I have actually listened to all, all but one of them, um, I only got four things, but um, I thought I'd share with them anyway. So Record Store Day was last Saturday, um, I live in the southwest of England. Um, and I went to a shop, um, my local store, which is called Raves from the Greats. Like that. Okay. They've actually got two shops, uh, one in Froome, which is the first one, and then they opened another one in Warminster a few years ago. Uh, so I went to the one in Warminster, which is probably about a 10 minute, no, probably more like a 20 minute drive from where I live. Um, so I thought I'd, uh, yeah, I went down there and I got there about 40 minutes, 50 minutes before they opened, about, you know, quarter past eight in the morning with my friend who also, um, loves the wax and I had a, a shopping list of things to get. Um, I had four things I wanted to get and I got all four of them so I'm really happy uh, and I've listened to three of them so yeah yeah chuffed. so that's yeah go look for those on the internet they're great they, they've got a really good stock uh, they know the other stuff for sure um, so a friend of mine got absolutely tons of stuff I mean scary amounts um, but I was a bit more restrained because I've got young children and I haven't got that much money so I had to uh, be a little bit more refrained with what I bought. So the first one I got uh, was Star Wars Dub um, by Phil Pratt. Um, so this is a Jamaican producer from the 70s. Um, I did another album which is slightly early in this which I think they re released at some point but I haven't got a copy of but yeah so it comes with a nice kind of info thing and a release Thing on the back, and um, I have to say, this sounds beautiful. I've listened to it, it's really crisp, really clear. Um, it sounds like it was recorded yesterday, not in fact in the was it 78, something like that. Just saying it somewhere, yeah, 1978 uh, at Kingston, Jamaica. So, yeah, it's a really heavy pressing. You can see the labels there, yeah, that one there, and the same on that side. Um, it's fantastic. Uh, to be honest with you, it doesn't really have anything to do with Star Wars. Um, when I first saw this on the release schedule, I'm a bit of a Star Wars nut, so I was like, oh my goodness, I've got to find that. So I listened to it on the old internet, um, and it wasn't anything to do with Star Wars, but I liked it nonetheless, and so I had to get myself a copy. Um, there was only a couple of copies of this, so I was quite looking to pick that one up, quite happy with that. Um, the second thing I got um, was uh, this here. Uh, so it's a kind of a bronzed, metallic, uh, reflective kind of thing. Um, it's designed for life by the Manic Street Preachers which is 20 years old. It's Friday today, so it was last Friday, the day before I called Saturday, this, this turned 20. And actually the album this is from, um, which is called Everything Must Go, is being reissued this year. I've already pre-ordered that. So there'll be an unboxing for that. I think it, I get that in May around there sometime. So it, when, it, when it arrives, it arrives. Uh, but they've done a lovely, beautiful, really um, heavyweight edition of Everything Must, uh, sorry, Designed for Life. Um, so the new original picture by the person that did the original pictures, I can't remember his name. Uh, it doesn't say anything actually. Anywhere, it will be somewhere. It'll be credited on there somewhere. Um, so I've, I'm a bit of a completist when it comes to the Manix, and I've got I've got heaps of their stuff, absolutely heaps. If you want me to, I mean, comment if you do. I can I'll, I'll take you on a whistle stop tour of ev every single thing I've got of the Manix, and it's a lot. Uh, CD wise, I've got a stack about coming up to past my knee if I stand it on the floor and my vinyl stack's probably about this wide of Manic Street Preacher stuff and um, so I'm happy to do a video about that if people want me to I will do um so yeah this one's it's a 45 so it spins at twice as well not twice the speed but the faster speed designed for life Dirt Trees Traffic Islands um on one side that was one of the original um b-sides and then on the, the other side we've got a Stealth Sonic Orchestra mix and uh, Mr. Carbohydrate, which again were B sides. So they did two CD releases 20 years ago, and I think um, I think there was two B sides in each one. So there were six tracks in total. And uh, this one I've got I've got four of those um, of those tracks. So I'm pretty happy with that. I mean that was always going to be one that I had to get as soon as I saw it on the release. Um, it, there was there was a no brainer, absolute no brainer. I had to have it. 
so I have it. Um, the sticker there, there was originally down here, but obviously I've opened it, taken the cellophane off, and put it back on at an angle just to keep the sticker intact. Because yeah, that's the kind of thing I do. I'm afraid. Um, the last two items will come with up, so you're no surprise to anybody that watches my videos. I am a bit of a a Bowie completist as well, um, and I have been for a number of years, even before he died earlier this year, which still hurts. Um, so yeah, um, there was two Record Store Day David Bowie releases. So the first one, which is this is the only thing that I haven't listened to, um, is TCV 15. So this is um, the single taken off Station to Station. This is 40th anniversary. I don't know if you can see very well with that light. Let me try and change the angle slightly. Hello kitchen. Okay. Whoa. Try that again, shall we? So there we go. So it's a double-sided picture disc. Um, again, this is another 40th anniversary seven-inch. They've been doing loads of these, um, and I've got I've got loads. I've got I've not got all of them. I think I'm missing about four of them. Um, but I uh, yeah, I think they I think they're things of beauty. So I've got a lot. And again, if you want me to do a video on all of them, I can by all means stick a comment in. Really lucky with that one actually. So I was in, um, I got into the record shop. I think when I got in the queue, I was about oh, about tenth or twelfth, maybe fifteenth in the queue, something like that. Um, it was nice queue, queuing outside, talking to people that were in the queue with me. That was all good. Um, and then uh, this was the last one of this, and I think a couple of people had picked up a few copies of it first. Uh, it was on the seven inches, and I was rifling through this stack of seven inches, nothing there. Uh, and I saw, I just saw the David Bowie, and as I, I was stood right in front of it, I was it, it was a lady. I saw this hand come over and just go, oh, holding, holding it, sorry, that's, that one's mine, sorry. Sorry about that, slight technical uh, malfunction. So yeah, there was a, somebody just waiting to hover over and, and get it, so I was a bit lucky to get it, but um, if I hadn't got it, I, you know, I just kept reading and I kept walking and I kept talking, so it was all good. Um, I wouldn't have gone onto eBay and bought it, which is what, you know, I saw, um, I saw out of morbid curiosity, I had a look on the internet at the things I'd bought to see if they were on eBay. Before I'd even left the store, um, I was getting pings from eBay saying, this item has just been listed. Oh, oh my goodness. So people are literally holding them in their hand and putting them onto eBay. Um, which is greed, absolute greed, and that's just against the, 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 the idea of Record Store Day. Anyway, the final one that I got was this one, uh, which is The Man Who Sold the World. Um, picture disc, and it's Bowie, and actually this is 45 years old this weekend, I think. Well, last weekend, which is I think why they did it. Um, so yeah, it's lovely. So I think this is the the old, I think it's German sleeve cover that uh, they put onto the picture disc, and on the back you've got. You can see Bowie's got his hat and his long hair, so it's kind of probably on the same photo shoot as the dress cover from the original um, Mercury release uh, in 19 what is it 70 69? I can't remember. I can't remember off the top of my head. I'm sure it was so on here somewhere. No, of course it doesn't. That would be too easy. Um, I've listened to it. Sounds great. Sounds lovely. It doesn't quite sound as uh, crisp and clear as the um, as the version that I've got from the Five Years box. That's just the 180G one that they did. Um, but it does sound pretty cracking. Um, that uh, I think cost me thirty pounds, which is about right. That's you know that's fine. It's quite inflated, but I'll pay it because I I want it. Um, I saw that that one went on eBay the same day on record store day from a seller for 130 pounds. That's crazy because now they're going again for kind of 30, 35 pounds, about the same price as you would have put, paid for it. Um, so that's disgusting that somebody's going to take advantage of people like that, frankly. Um, but what can I do about it? So I had four things on my list, and I got all four things. Um, so I'm really happy. I was, you know. Um, I was glad to see the record store was full of people. People were buying stuff that wasn't on the record store day racks, which was nice to see. Um, meaning that it's more than just a, a day just to get the new releases. It's nice to see the, the shop full of people, and I'm sure the owners were equally as happy. Uh, that's me for now. Um, I'll be back on here giving you another... Um, I haven't got any plans to buy any more records in the near couple of weeks so I might do another album review um, like I did for a while so if there's anything you'd like me to review that I've you know maybe something that I posted on Twitter that you'd like a review of or maybe something that um, I bought today um, let me know and I'll do an extended review and a package review and all that kind of stuff that'd be great if not um, I hope you stay well and I'll uh, see you soon bye now